When a virus winds up inside the body, it's usually met with a furious onslaught from the immune system. White blood cells immediately respond by releasing antiviral proteins, attacking infected cells and recruiting backup. Usually, this is enough. But there's one virus that pushes the immune system beyond its limits, HIV. HIV infects one of the immune cells that is central to the body's response to pathogens, the helper T cell. First, the virus attaches and enters. Once inside, the virus moves towards the nucleus along with its enzymes and genetic material. One of these enzymes, reverse transcriptase, converts the viral RNA into a length of DNA, which inserts into the cell's genome, forcing the cell to spew out HIV proteins and genetic material to make new copies of the virus. These new viruses escape the cell to infect others. HIV levels rise rapidly in the body. But the immune system doesn't go down without a fight. Inside infected cells, antiviral proteins called restriction factors work to shut down virus production, whilst others stop the virus from escaping the cell. Outside, white blood cells called B cells produce neutralizing antibodies, which bind to surface spikes on HIV particles and stop them entering healthy helper T cells. The greatest assault comes from killer T cells and natural killer cells, which seek and destroy infected cells directly. They release a protein called perforin, which punctures the infected cells, allowing enzymes to be injected, triggering auto-destruction. For a while, the defense holds and virus levels drop. But HIV begins its counter-attack. It disables the cell's antiviral proteins, allowing new virus particles to leave the cell. It also constantly mutates inside the cell to evade detection. The immune system can't fight what it can't see. Eventually, the immune system wears itself out. Killer T cells, activated for too long, become exhausted and no longer respond to infection. Also, the body loses the ability to make new helper T cells to replace those killed in the fight, and as a result, their numbers plummet. Ultimately, the body becomes immunodeficient, and this condition is known as AIDS. Without treatment, exposure to otherwise harmless microbes can be fatal. We still have no way of eliminating HIV from the body completely. There is no cure, and hidden reservoirs of HIV will rebound if treatment stops. But treatment with antiretroviral drugs can swing the balance, allowing the immune system to recover from battle and live to fight another day.